Good morning, Major. We have little time to waste. The big push I warned you about is on, and the order's time on Creek 7B is nearly up. You have proven to be an effective commander, and I am moving you out to head our Northern Polar Assault Group. If I push into the snowy wastes, it'll take at least a day just to frostproof our equipment. You have four hours. As to the why of things, well, as you know, the recent victory by the CSS Astrid has given us air superiority. Recon flights have since located all of the order assets protecting the remaining Xenofax sites, all except the northern sites, where our scanners cannot seem to get a reading on anything at all. A jamming field? Exactly. None of the other order bases are large enough to serve as a global command post, so we can only assume the bulk of their forces remaining on Krieg are under that jamming field. Your job will be to drop in around the point where the field is the strongest and then to find its source. You'll have three dropships at your disposal, so you will be landing in force. In force, but without a clue as to what's waiting for us. Craven soldiers are trained to be adaptable, Major. I suggest you take advantage of that training. You are dismissed. Welcome back to Ground Control, everybody. Time to keep this campaign rolling along after a little bit longer break than I had anticipated. And you can see that we're trying to hammer home now the last order bases. They're hiding in the polar regions, it would appear. And this is one of the very few times in the campaign where I actually sympathize with VP Hayes. She's exasperated at the end of this briefing, and I think she's justified in doing it. Parker has been given a reasonable plan under the circumstances, from the way I can see it. Gave her a compliment at the earlier part of it, saying he's proven to be a very effective commander. Now, it took her a long time to get there, and it's true, and overly deserved, but still. You know, it's like Hayes is trying to be magnanimous here, and Parker's still whining about stuff. Yes, you don't know exactly what you're up against, but, you know, expect the unexpected. You're a professional commander, you know, you're being given a full slate of troops to go with you. When there's a jamming field up, I mean, what do you what do you expect? To me, this seems a sensible approach, and I kind of just want her to shut up and do her job. But I like the fact that, of course, that none of the characters are complete caricatures. You know, they've all got their flaws, and Parker is antagonistic even when she doesn't need to be when there's no good reason to be she's still got to be that way okay so let's get on with it and i'm going to leave these two over here i like the general distribution that we've got you notice they said that we have the bomber aerodyne now that's known as the condor we'll be taking a look at that but first of all we're going to do our normal setup we're going to have two jaegers they're going to be on recon we're going to have Marines, Offensive, Anti-Tank. Let's get that radar out there. Okay, Military Police, you can do the Light Pterodynes and you'll be balanced. And we pretty much have set up, I think, what we want to do in general here. In terms of, like, the equipment, we've pretty much established where we're going. So we're going to do the one group of heavies. I'm going to keep all my Pterodynes pretty much on the balanced approach. High explosive, I like having the repairs around. And we're gonna do exactly the same thing with one day to retirement. Headhunters, again, you're not gonna be the scouts. You're going to move back to the main battle as well. And we've got artillery, always no reason to not have them offensive. Army strong, offensive again for our anti-air. And then also for our rocket pterodynes. And we could, you know, ship back and forth between these. I kind of like the Hellfire missiles. And then here's the Red Raptors. They're going to be our bomber aerodynes, new condors. And why not make them offensive? They get the tactical nuclear bomb, which is a rather extreme weapon. Anything in its radius is gone. The fragmentation bomb is not as powerful, but is a more wide area type of thing. And I think I'm going to go with that in this particular case. And let's go with anti-missile, just in case we get caught by Templar. There we go. And then the fighter aerodynes, let's also, you know what, why don't we give you speed? And I think that's going to be our setup. New drop zone. And here we are in the polar wastes. So, 
We've got the two drop zones and to choose from. And then we've got the enemy jamming field area, which, as the briefing said, was right up here. It's very obvious where it's going to be. Let's take a look at that opening. And there's four ways to approach it. So if we head over here to the west, this you've got ridges on the side. It curves around. That looks quite hazardous. Then it opens up here. But there's no way... Like, there's no good entrance to this part of it. There's no way Teradines would get in. You could use infantry, but that's not going to be enough to threaten a large, well-defended base. So if we go out here to the north, on the northwest, we've got rises here on the side. Then it opens up pretty quickly. And this part right here, it actually looks on the overview map almost like you can get through there. But once you get in here, you see, nope. Teradyne's not going to make that either, and then it sort of pushes you off here, right off the edge of the map. So that's not going to happen. Those two, for tactical mission purposes, might as well not even be there. And then if you come out this way, this will lead eventually to our second drop zone. Now, you come around this, and then it really opens up. It's Again, you've got a, a rough approach when you get close. But this is a lot flatter. You can aim over this way, and then you've got to go some way around this rise. We'll pick this direction. And then when you get over here, somewhere up here generally is where it's going to drop. And then there's the this way, which is the default entrance. And these are the steepest or sheerest largest cliffs that surround it in any direction. But it's pretty straight, and there's no sort of fish hook that you got to work your way around. This is pretty open here. You do have this bit to navigate some more cliffs, and then back on here to the drop zone. I think overall this is the best one. It's one I'm going to pick. It's a little bit shorter. It's a little more straightforward in how you get to the base. Now, you could split them up. That's also an option. But the thing about that is there's so many things you've got to counter. And you've only got four squads, no matter how you figure it, between each dropship. So if you're going to have Marines for anti-Templar duty, and you're going to have some unit to scout, and you're going to have Teradines for your battle line, anti-air, artillery, I mean, you're already over the limit. So it just is so much better at this point. If they had two, like four dropships, three in each, or two and two with six each, then maybe you could make it work. But late game, there's just so much to counter. I don't speed. think splitting up and doing any sort of a multi-pronged assault is just viable. Dropship entering atmosphere. Mission update. The center of the interference field is marked on the tactical map. The jamming facility must be near there, and it will be heavily defended. Well, there's uh, sort of a very obvious thing, but locate and destroy the jamming facility. Yep, it's right there in the middle of that base that we've seen the outline of. Okay, so we're going to get Returning our Jaegers in position ahead of us in the proper Returning direction. Fire, Major. Return Major, fire. And then we're going to stick our Marines, of course, in between them. Then we do something a little bit different with the armor because of how narrow this is. Getting through some of these passageways can't really do it four units wide. So if we do one of our heavies, or the heavy, and one of our main battles in front. Actually, let's, let's hang out back here until yeah. the Marines get ready. And then further back, hold on, we got something going on here. Enemy's oh, yeah. Destroyed. Got aerodynes. There's a couple attack aerodynes that just uh, bit the dust. Here comes some more. Are they coming in? They're just kind of flying about. I think they are. Fighters, you go after them. There we go. They're shooting away. Let's see, if I distract them with my fighters, yeah, they still did some, but they're not going to do as much damage to our ground troops. Fighters, let's withdraw you before you get attacked by something. And we don't see anything else. Okay, so we got a bit of repairing to do, but I'm going to have a second group of armor behind the first one. 
and then just sort of throw my support group in the middle. Like so. So I'm essentially going to have a sandwich of vehicles as my convoy. Oh, hold on. Okay, here comes more. Enemy aerodyne destroyed. Squad one recharging. So that's three pairs of attack aerodynes that we've seen while we're literally getting set up here. Six of them in total. Wonder how many we're going to see by the time this mission is over. Anyway, if we take a look at our bombers, you can see they're big. They're also slow and ponderous, and they cover a wide area before they turn and come back. And that's a little bit troublesome in terms of getting them out of hostile area. Like, they, they do a lot of damage, as hopefully we'll have a chance to see. But we've really got to keep them back away from the front lines. Okay. So, if we, I don't want to zoom in quite that much. But let's take you, get you repaired, and get moving forward towards the enemy base. Squad one recharging. Okay, Commander, we're moving out. Well, here's a little something. We caught a blip of them earlier, but there's uh, Templar torpedo infantry off on some patrol route. Okay, they're heading off here past this rise, which, by the way, if I want to come up here, I can't. If we take these Jaegers... I can't, I can't yeah, we can't. There is no accessible path onto that particular hill. But I can get up on this one, which seems like a good idea to me. And then over here... Let's see. I'm going to stay down on this. I'm just going to come over there for now. Gradually move forward. I'm on my way. And I want to be careful with how far forward I bring the armor since yes, I've seen yeah. Templar in the vicinity. I want to be very careful on where they're at. Of course, air power would be of no use against them. I can't move ah, here's some medium hoverdines here, but then I also saw them crawling across this way. So let's... Let's get the Marines over that direction. Yep. I want to stay out. Of, yeah, okay, here they come. Medium hoverdines. They're on the approach. Can we get these Marines up here fast enough to deal with them? Let's have the Jaegers attack them as well. See if you can get up here on this hill. Because it looks like that's the way they're trying to go. Come on. Enemy infantry there we go. We got one of them. Alright, they're going off that way. You get back up there. Affirmative. Attacking. As good as I don't think we're going to get them. They keep moving on, though. They're not coming over here towards the armor. They probably just... Their path probably hasn't taken them quite close enough to see it, I think is what's going on there. Affirmative. Engaging. Well, they just kind of disappear into this dark spot. There they go. Yes, Major. Attacking. Well, if I keep this up, one of my shots is going to hit the armor and they're going to come this way. Let's not do that. Let's just go back up there. Okay, let's reset. Move order received. Because given... Okay, they went over that way the last time and came back around here. They clearly still on their patrol path, so... I think they're probably going to come back. I have every reason to expect that. I'm on my way. Let's just get in position to wait for them. Here they come. And my Jaegers are still taking pot shots at them. Relatively ineffectually, I might add. Hoverdines still don't care. I've got my Marines ready here and waiting. If they follow the same pattern, there should be no trouble. Enemy infantry destroyed. Bingo. That was a nice fun slaughter. Box formation acknowledged. And a bit of an annoying uh, time sink. 
But now that they're out of the way, let's see if I can get my Jaegers up here. Well, they're going the opposite direction, which means they need a better angle of approach. We'll see if we have a good way to get them over there or not. We can start moving up some. And I'm kind of, again, still in that sort of sandwich formation. Okay, now, since we can't get over on this, I want my Jaegers to stay here on the tip. I think that's the best place for them. And where are you going? Okay, for some reason that's just not too steep for you to go up. Okay, good. So now you're up on there. Got to be careful, get you out of trouble if I need to. But I want to bring my armor now out here. Speaking of which, yep, okay, I'll have more reason to do it, like, quickly. I can put them side by side support behind yes, them Major. I can have a more much more optimal configuration over this way you know what I think I want to get these around here if I can because they'll be able to spot a lot better and then if those aerodynes come back they can come down off of this yeah now let's move let's move even more over this way Let's just really get into this dark area. Move order received. Are you sure? Yes, Major. I'm very Moving sure. Out. Now it is quite uneven, so I'm move having trouble received. placing everybody. And let's move our planes up some. Coordinates received. Position acknowledged. Now I may want to let's fire the artillery. Area ah, never mind. We've our, we, we've gotten their attention. So I just want to use standard artillery barrage, and then plus reasonable armor placement to deal with these. And they're coming in at us now, but they're not going to last. I want to fire at that side. Enemy and of course, I'd love to use my bombers on this, but I don't know what's back Squad here. Five taking friendly fire. Squad five recharging. Gotta have a secured area if I'm gonna pull that off. Squad six taking friendly fire. You know what? Move you back a bit so you don't get Squad caught in any friendly fire. Enemy attacking Squad strange two. blast radius. Squad six taking friendly fire. Squad seven recharging. You. Squad okay. six taking friendly fire. Enemy hover dying destroyed. There we go. So now just a few minor repairs will be needed. And we've knocked out some aerodynes, we've knocked out Templar, we've knocked out some hover dynes, are ready to proceed further. And what I want to do from here is we just need to sort of loop our way around this. I'm going to need to bring the Jaegers over here down on lower ground, kind of around this way, and then just sort of, you know, swing like a door, hinge, whatever favorite expression you have to get out there. Moving at once. Mission update. On-site readings confirm the jamming field is being generated by this base. Recommendation, destroy it immediately. Oh, is that what we should do? We don't want to invite them for tea and crumpets. Okay, well, hold on. Here comes some... Boy, almost close enough. We did get a couple shots in on them there. They're just not coming close enough for long enough that I feel comfortable sending in my fighters. Anyway, if we take a look around here, now we can actually just barely see the outline of the base. We're about halfway there. And I think that's really just the point of that statement. We're not going to quite destroy it immediately, but we are definitely going to keep working our way in this direction. Ah, okay, let's retreat quickly. Artillery, you do that thing that you do. So we have another group of hoverdynes to entertain ourselves with, shall we say. Enemy attacking squad two. Moving right away, Major. Couple decent shots there on them. Enemy 
Enemy hoverdyne destroyed. Some of their shots coming through the Enemy line and hitting our vulnerable rockets. I don't like that. Enemy hoverdyne destroyed. But they're mostly gone now. Squad 12 recharging. Enemy hoverdyne destroyed. There we go. That battle is obviously a foregone conclusion. Oh, see some crusaders moving around up there. Squad 7 recharging. Our Jaegers really didn't take hardly any hits, if any. Okay, here we go. Are they going to shoot at us? No. I got close enough to knock out one of them. Marines are fine. They didn't take hardly any damage. Yeah, I just got to heal up the armor line, and then uh, we'll be ready to push out a little further. So now what I'm trying to do is I want these Jaegers up into this finger of... Okay. Here's some Crusaders. Maybe we'll head off their way. Up oh, that one Aerodyne survived. And there's a couple more! Okay, that's eight. Plus two there is ten, at least. Might be more, I think it's ten though. Oh my, okay, There's now there's a missile launcher up here. The Crusaders are going away from... I don't really want to push up any further than this. I think we'd be getting too far ahead of the pack. But let's right away, Major. Okay, Commander. Move up. Artillery moving out. And then hopefully that's enough to get our artillery within range to knock that out, which is again. I don't want to bring in my air force too much into things because of things like this. Beginning barrage. Yep. I'm gonna hit it fine from here. That's actually a very, very nice placement. I like the fact it's like halfway up the cliff. You would tend to think of things on the ground or way up at the top. We're putting it part way up the cliff on this little ledge. Nice little bit of placement, level design, whatever you want to call that. You go box. And I really want to use your radar. But I don't think like it would barely reach the base if it did at all from here. I want to be able to get up a little further before I can see that. Enemy attacking squad. Well, there are crusaders right there. Hold, hold on. Hold on. Run. Run. That's an artillery placement. Right there was an artillery placement. You saw it said howitzer. Okay, now first of all, you switch over here and go line. Because we're going to deal with these guys first. Get out of the line of fire of our own stuff. Let's create a nice little crossfire here. Get into the dark. Enemy infantry Doggone it. Unit lost. Squad four. Enemy we lost one of them. Shoot. Now, Enemy that's all we're going to lose, but... Command APC taking God. fire. Okay, didn't react quite quickly enough. Box formation acknowledged. Understood. I'm on my way. Moving While on, these repair... Up. Squad it was right there. So I want to do... Area targeted for bombardment. I'll prioritize that attack. Squad four and we can move forward the armor a little bit, I think. Move order received. Is how close do we have to get? And can the artillery even reach it? I'd be ready to move it here at a moment's notice. Squad four Let's get the Jaegers right up at the foot of that hill. Spot as much as possible. Okay, you're shooting. I'm not seeing anything shooting, firing back. So either we've got longer range or they can't detect quite as far as they shoot. And I think what it is is we've got a slight range advantage. There we go. Destroyed. Beautiful. Okay. Get back in line. Artillery moving out. Now we're going to make sure that it's actually gone. Move order received. I'm going to move you move back out. up here. Up 
Get our infantry, now short a man back up there. Okay, heavy hover dines. Torpedo infantry. You're not moving. Beginning barrage. Oh, now you are. Now that I said something, you are. Okay. Order received. Run. Enemy attacking squad one. Run. Come on, shoot him down. Squad one recharging. Enemy aerodyne destroyed. Okay. So I had to burn a couple of med kits, and now I'm gonna need to get back down here. Major, we're moving out. And let me guess, you're gonna have to go back around a little ways, yeah. <sighs> but So that is nine or ten of them now on the aerodynes that have actually been eliminated. Let's see if we can get you up here on this rise. Major, we're moving out. And we're not going to go straight up the hill. Hopefully you don't have to take too far of a diversion. Jaegers, you move way. quick enough. Come over here to the APC. Okay, you're heading over this way. Got to be ready to get you out of there. If I need to, but now you're heading up. Yeah, and for now, just sit right here on the edge. On our way, Major. Until I'm ready to move forward more. You? Well, hold on. You took some damage. Okay, come back down. I need you to repair, but that's where I want you. I think these heavies are my next target and they keep coming into this area so if the artillery can reach it area let's target, target that and it can okay given that let's move back our infantry because bad right. things are going to happen to them regardless am i shooting just beyond them there we go. There's our hit. Now I think I want to use the bombers on these once they get in close enough. That should be enough because they're going to keep on coming. Enemy attacking squad seven. Hold fire on the artillery. They're firing over here. And here comes our bombers. See, they're moving with them, and their bombs are exploding, and their bombs are causing major carnage. There we go. You can just see them. They're hard to see up against the cliff, and you can see explosions on the ground, and there we go. All right, now let's get them out. Retreat. But that's how the bombers work, and they work very well indeed when you have a chance to deploy them. Now, the fragmentation bomb actually would not have done much against them because it's a very much a wide area, relatively low damage attack. That worked very well. A couple of heavy hoverdines out of the way. And now I want to start moving up more aggressively with my Jaegers along here. Get a little bit closer to the base and then see what we have. You can see the outline of it, but okay, there's more heavies. And I don't think I'm going to want to send any air power in here. This is going to be a purely a land attack. It's moving a little bit more. Nope, right not way, there. Major. Yep, right there. Coordinates received. Okay, Commander. Yes, Major. I think that's moving about out. as good as I'm going to get. They're just moving about in that area. So if I take... Can I hit that pulse laser pillbox? I can. I might be able to hit that and aggravate them here at the same time. I'm definitely hitting it. Question is, am I going to hit the hoverdines? Yep. Beautiful. Destroyed. And now they're coming. They're targeting you. Get out of the way, Marines. You've already waited too long. Enemy 
Enemy attacking squad six. Move order received. Enemy Boom, attack there's one. Squad We've six got a good target. position here, good concentration of fire on the target. Enemy hover dying destroyed. Yes. So now we've taken out eight mediums and four heavies. Squad seven recharging. And if you consider, you know, that our force has 14 battle pterodynes, you know, that's a relatively comparable number. Of course, we don't know how many more they have. On our way, Major. But I think we're ready to loop around here a little bit. We're on our way, Major. Move forward with our scouting. Oh, I saw another Aerodyne over there. I'll be careful of that. How's our armor doing? Need a bit of repairs, but we're doing okay. And those are those are fighters. These are those are attack Aerodynes that run. Move order received. Yep. Enemy attacking squad Running was three. definitely the right move. Major, we're moving out. Enemy Aerodyne destroyed. Squad three recharging. Got one of them. I don't know if we got them both. You're doing okay after using that one med kit. Okay, we're, we're keeping you up here. But maybe not quite as aggressively posted. Oh, shoot, I forgot about the torpedo infantry. Back up. Right away, Major. Coordinates received. Move order received. Squad 2 recharging. I cannot reach that affirmative. Attacking. Yep. We're all running. Yeah, I'm going. Okay, Commander. Artillery moving out. Moving right away, Major. They're coming up this way. Engaging. They're trying to. They're not actually going to be... How are they getting up that cliff from there? Attack order received. Okay. Um... Right Squad away, 7 Major. recharging. Okay, Commander. We're moving out. Move order received. <laughs> Mass evacuation in the face of one unit. But as we've learned, it's not... Okay, yeah, now they're going to be problems for our aircraft. We don't retreat them. This is not an excessive response, as we've seen. And they've gotten behind our infantry. Marines over there. Jaegers. Come back this way. Okay, now they're, they're going back. Jaegers back here, so you can spot. Marines back in this area. Good grief. That was almost really bad. It's, <laughs> it's absurd that the whole army retreats in the face of one stinking unit, but at the same time it's entirely necessary. Okay, you attack them. You are... You're the gyro jet one. The raw is these guys over here. Which is unfortunate. You come back up this way. Oh, we got some medium hover dines too. And that that's a fighter. But yeah. You go after them. Enemy they just got one of them. Destroyed. Good. We're on our way, Major. Move order received. Nope, stay up here. Major, we're moving out. Stay up on the higher visibility plane. We're on our way, Major. <sighs> okay. So They're up here, and I think this is too steep. They have, think they have to stay up here, otherwise they would have come down, which actually means that what I might want to do is just, yeah, let's throw, it's going to take them a while to get over there, but I'm going to throw my Marines up here and chase them. Because if we control the high ground, we kill them on the high ground, I don't care how long it takes. I think that's the best alternative. Okay, and then while I'm doing that, I'll gradually move back my armor up into position. Yes, Major. Enemy aerodyne destroyed. Well, just blew apart another fighter. As we work our way up there, we actually... Oh, hold on. Here's some more medium hoverdynes. And then we've managed to tick them off. Okay. Artillery. You have at it. Let's knock enemy out some more enemies. 
Because all we're seeing is fighter aerodynes. I think we might be out of attack aerodynes, at least in this area. We're seeing a lot of those fighters. But they can't... They can't attack our scouts. Oh, hello. There's something here shooting at us. I'm betting it's a turret. Which, I mean, that's not a surprise. I just can't see what it is. Oh my goodness, they made it all the way around us. And down in there. Okay, we're going to retreat again. Yes, Major. Moving out. This time we might not make it. Where's my Marines? They're way the heck up there. Okay, you? You use your raw. Nope, not going to make it. Squads. Repair. 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 Move order received. It's not going to make it. That one's going to get hit. Squad seven. Unit lost. Squad seven. <sighs> Doggone it. Now they're hitting the APC. Enemy aerodyne destroyed. Get right up here on the edge. You've got to be able to hit them from there. Why can I not see them? Oh, they went back the other direction. Oh, this is annoying. I hate Templar so much right now. You don't even know. Probably do know. So, while I wait for the Marines to come back around... I'm going to hit this spot where there's clearly a turret. I'm betting it's a big one. So that that's not going to shoot at our scouts up on the cliff. So we might as well be firing at things while we wait. And they've got to come all the way back down here and then all the way... <sighs> going to be here for a while. Particularly since my artillery is deciding to be particularly inaccurate right now. There we go. But it it's a tier seven guana turret. Enemy structure destroyed. And there's a missile launcher right by it. Make sure we hit that. But now that the turret's gone, I should be able to scout a little more aggressively here. Enemy structure destroyed. Still not seeing the torpedo. Now they have defender guns, Mark II. We'll be seeing what they are eventually. There's another guana there. Okay. We've got enough scouting here on the wings now. Let's get you right out there on the edge. Move order received. Because until the Marines come back, I don't want to move forward too much. I want to be able to see them coming a while away. And how are those Marines doing? Okay, they've just about gotten back to go down and then come around and through. Moving at once. Moving right away, Major. I think I just want to peg some things with the artillery. Transporters don't care about those. Let's hit the uh, cathedral. And this is just sort of busy work. There's Crusaders, there's Transporters. I don't see the Templar. But I'm just going to kind of strike whatever the closest target is. There's the Templar. So guess what we're going to do again? Coordinates received. Move order received. Enemy structure destroyed. Well, there's no more cathedral, which is nice. Squad 6 recharging. Yeah, I'm going. Okay, commander. Eventually, someday, I'm going to stop playing Ring Around the Rosie with these guys, and I'm going to enjoy it. Major, we're moving out. We're on our way, Major. 
that day has not yet come. And they've given up and coming back this way. And our Jaegers are taking more pot shots at them. Enemy infantry destroyed. Got another one. There's only two left. As good as dead, Major. Move order received. Understood. I'm on my way. Where are they going? Well, shoot, if they stay there, I may actually be able to kill them with Jaegers. Yeah, they're coming back. Enemy infantry destroyed. Yeah. Yes, Major. Attacking. So we're gonna kill them the stupid way. Enemy infantry there. Destroyed. You're finally gone. Okay. You're gonna come back up this way. I can't. Major, we're moving out. We're on our way. Now there's no guarantee that there's not more. We're on our way, Major. We did knock out these. I can probably move the Marines up to about there, and then I'm gonna throw a radar up. Move everybody up here. Let's let's take a look around now what we have. We've got a couple things. Yeah, we've got a point here, a point here, and then everything else is in the base that we can see in any case. So, over here. Okay, that's a missile launcher. And over here, it's another missile launcher. Now, there may very well be stuff further around, but this is what we can see. And we can see most of the base... The jamming facility, which I love this blue particle effect that it sends off. We've got, oh, we've got more torpedo infantry. We've got crusaders. At least we'll see them coming a lot further away now. All right. So. Understood. Marines, you get out in front a little more. Received. Move order received. Artillery moving out. Let's move up, and I want to take the time, I think. Barrage. To clear these missile launch, just in case I bring in the air power later. Just, it always pays to be cautious and careful. There's no time limit here, so if we just eliminate any possible threats from any possible circumstances, I think Enemy we're going to be better off. Destroyed. Okay, that's gone. Can you hit this one? Attack order received. From this side of the hill is the question. It's kind of an open one. So how far back do you want to go? At least I've got the APC still attached to it. Which is half dead, thanks to the Templar. Okay. Alright. So you just had to get all the way back. I don't know why you didn't go into that little... But whatever. You got close enough. Well, one shot hit it on the first salvo. Enemy structure and there we go. Alright then. Now you come back up here. Artillery moving out. And, okay, there's more heavies that way. Beginning and a off. tier 7 guana. Let's Attack take out the pillbox received. first closest first. And I just want to clear out a bunch of this stuff before I move in. Yeah, why don't you move up there first. So you're just firing into the cliff. That's not going to accomplish a lot, and we're lucky we didn't blow ourselves up with it. Those fighters are annoying that they're still around, but they're not actually going to accomplish anything. So. We know that there's heavies over here somewhere. We know that there's more Templar. Our work is far from done. Crusaders. Enemy structure destroyed. So there's that one. Let's knock out the turret. And if I can, I want to move, move 
my Jaegers further up this way, but keep them on high ground. Move order received. Because I don't need them to scout out this area. I've got the radar to do that. Hmm, would have been nice if I'd hit the Templar there, but we didn't quite get that. Yeah, we need to move forward just a little bit here. Affirmative. Position acknowledged. Okay, Commander. Move order received. Okay, here comes some Crusaders. Enemy structure destroyed. Move order received. Line formation acknowledged. Understood. And they're coming straight towards us, which is fine. So I'm going to try to set up another crossfire situation. Enemy ah! Destroyed. Close enough to knock squad out the fighters. Fire. Enemy attacking squad four. Squad two recharging. We got that guana. Good. Enemy infantry destroyed. Squad nine taking friendly fire. Enemy attacking squad 8. Squad 8 recharging. Enemy infantry destroyed. Enemy infantry destroyed. Right away, Major. Squad 6 okay, taking friendly fire. Enemy attacking We're squad just packed two. too close squad together here. Recharging. Enemy infantry destroyed. Squad 2 taking friendly fire. There. Okay, let's get you acknowledged. Understood. here. I'm on my way. And now we should be able to spread out just enough. Artillery moving out. Major, we're moving out. Let's get you up there. Yep, heavies and Templar. Oh, there's more attack aerodynes coming that way. I, I'm not a fan of that. I, I don't like them. Squad nine recharging. Okay. So let's go after... Enemy aerodyne destroyed. They hit up the jamming facility pretty good, too. You can actually destroy that with your anti-air if you get lucky enough. Okay, let's take out these defender guns that, with our artillery. What are you talking about? Of course you can. Attack order received. There we go. More guana behind there. And isn't that fun? These turrets actually shoot down anything in the air, including artillery shells. So that's not going to work. We could shoot at them all day, and it wouldn't do us any good. Now let's say we take out the jamming oh, facility instead. So I just want to sort of test these out and see what they're... What their range of effect is. And that works. So it's only things that are going to hit them. They only defend themselves. Which I think is kind of flawed. It would be a lot cooler if they defended the, at least the facility itself against these. But it can't... The broken field has dissipated and all scanners are now back online. Recommendation? Destroy order base completely and then return to pickup zone. Well, that was a rather impressive uh, explosion there. Clearly, there's a lot of energy and technology going into that structure. Destroy the base completely. And then, because these shoot when it's at things that are so low to the ground, it only shoots a little bit above, it actually hits the jamming facility before it can get within range of their guns. So, that's kind of... I don't know, I think it would have been better if that had been implemented differently. Anyway. Squad 4 taking friendly fire. From what? These things are trying to shoot. Okay. Let's send some light pterodynes around this Enemy way. Move order received. Main battle here. Coordinates received. Heavy here. Marines kind of out here in order front. Received. Let's see if those things can shoot at us. I think they're purely anti-air. Then main battle over this way. So we're kind of spreading received. out a bit. Move order received. I want to keep the anti-air 
close as I can. And the torpedo keep hanging around over here, but there's also heavies in that area, so I'm not too anxious to go invite their wrath. See what happens if I get you down here. Nope. Look at that. We've got more artillery this way. Get out of the blast radius. Come on. Just... Yeah. Got hit a little bit. Okay. So you're hanging back here. And you're not going out any further. Because we should be able to stay out of that artillery's range, I would think. It just makes things a little more complicated. And these are not shooting at us. Okay. Move it out. Let's gradually yeah, move in. Going. Let's put all three of the main battles in, I think. Moving at once, Major. APC behind him. Artillery moving out. Enemy attacking what the heck? I am so pissed at you right now. Squad six. Squad six recharging. Marines, go get them before they blow everybody up. Yep. I didn't think they were anywhere near that close. I didn't think they'd come in here. Well, I mean, that's all the Templar for now. But not having scouting on this area and that stupid artillery over there is really going to annoy I, I still think it's the trouble of going to get it. I could be wrong, but I don't think it's worth the trouble. Okay, we're going to start clearing some things out now. Let's begin with those defender guns. You. Enemy structure destroyed. Major, See if you can come down here without getting shot. I kind of don't Enemy trust anything at the moment. Four. Unit lost. Squad four. Unit lost. Squad four. From what? What's Unit hitting lost. them? Squad four. Oh, it's Unit the squad four. guana turrets. Move order <sighs> I didn't think it could shoot us this far away. Squad seven. Unit lost. Squad seven. Now, now, what are you getting? Oh my goodness! Repair. Squad seven recharging. Okay, it's so the heavy hover dines. We're gonna knock them out. Enemy attacking squad six. Just barely started repairing them soon enough. Retreat you. Consider squad six recharging. So so much is going wrong in this chaos. All right, now you get back in there. Squad six recharging. Our command APC is shot up. We could still screw this up. We could still fail the mission if I don't. And we haven't lost any complete squads. It's just a little bit of this and that, especially here at the end. And the Marines over halfway dead. Okay. So clearly, I need to priority target that guana. And there's been a guana at every entrance, so there's probably one over here that I just can't see yet. So I need to be very careful when I make my way out here. Okay, that should be enough. Hit the pillbox now. Yeah. Can I get you down here on the ground? No, you're not going that way. Enemy structure destroyed. The answer is that question. You can't make it down any of these areas. So... Use my marine, Marines to scout out this way.
All right. Coordinates received. Move order received. Moving. Affirmative. Position acknowledged. Moving at once, Major. Yes, Major. Moving out. Definitely get all of you further in here. Deal with any aircraft. Attack order received. Enemy structure destroyed. There's that. Attacking target. Attacking target. Yeah, I'm going. Enemy structure Consider destroyed. Consider paid. Coordinates received. Moving right away, Major. Move order received. Artillery moving out. Charging target. Move order received. Enemy structure destroyed. Moving. Let's gradually move in. Clear these things out. I'm just really anxious about more stuff coming in after us. Enemy structure destroyed. There we go. Now we're starting to shoot them. There is, in fact, another guana. Enemy aerodyne destroyed. Enemy attacking squad six. Yeah, that's not going to get them very far. Shooting at our annihilators while our uh, anti-air ticks them off. Okay. But that's big, getting that was 11 and 12 down. There's there's a missile launcher out there. I said destroy the base completely. So I don't think just the command center is going to do it, but it'll help. Yeah, don't do that. Just get somewhere where you can attack it. Okay. Beginning barrage. Knock out that missile launcher. Enemy structure destroyed. Yep. Are these all crusaders? This is two units of crusaders. And we're gonna have to face them down with the okay. Special weapon confirmed. Let's have Squad some five taking friendly fire. Special Enemy confirmed. infantry destroyed. Squad 5 taking friendly fire. Enemy attacking squad 12. Enemy infantry destroyed. Squad 5 taking friendly fire. For Pete's sake. Enemy infantry destroyed. Squad 5 taking friendly fire. Move already. Enemy attacking squad 12. Squad 5 taking friendly fire. You won't move. You're going to sit right there in the line of fight. You're eventually going to move. Taking friendly fire. Question will he be dead by then? Enemy infantry destroyed. Enemy attacking squad eight. Special weapon loaded. There. So just an obscene amount of high explosive rounds. Squad twelve recharging. This factory's still up. Attacking target. Not for long. See, we've got advanced power stations. Let's knock those out with our artillery. Still seeing nothing over here. I want to keep the Marines over there to make sure that's the case, though. Maybe bring them back a bit. Leave the medical facility B for uh, anti-war crime reasons. Okay, so you're good. You're back healthy again. You move out. Enemy structure destroyed. Nice. They got the other one. This factory's down. Move up that way. Biohazard tank. Defender gun. Squad five recharging. Enemy structure destroyed. Move order received. And if Templar come this way, I'm kind of in a pickle. That's probably more likely. So, you know what? Marines, you come this way. It's more likely than them coming from the rear. Although we've long since had any use for that. But. Enemy structure destroyed. Attacking target. Moving. 
Coordinates received. Our annihilators are back to full strength. Attack order received. Move out. What is over there? Pillbox. It's as good as anything for the artillery to hit. So I keep looking over this way in case there's more howitzers, because there was one in that direction and there was one back here. Hold on. That's just a transporter. I don't think they have anything left to send at us. But I don't want to screw this up at the end by assuming that. That's down. Let's hit these containers. It's the only thing left that I see, unless there's something more. Mission update. Order base destroyed. Objective achieved. Recommendation. Immediately withdraw your forces to the marked pickup point. Sounds good to me. Okay. Enemy structure destroyed. So, infantry. Understood. We will enter the Enemy structure destroyed. You head back in that general direction. You head back in that general direction. Yes, all of our flyers are still back there. They didn't accomplish too much except for the beginning of the mission. Move order received. So, Course airplanes head back. Artillery moving out. All of our combat groups head back, and then, now that you're in, you're going to head mostly back. Moving at once, Major. Squad six I'm going to have you meet the Jaegers, because I know there's points Order at which received. you can come down over this way. Major, we're moving so we're out. all going to meet down there. Right the away, idea is to get out of Dodge. Now, if we had taken one of the other drop zones, or there's only other one of them, but if we'd taken this one, then we had to fight our way through this. And is there something behind us here, or is that just that medical facility? Nope, that's all that is. So we're abandoning, uh, abandoning this smoldering heap of ruin, and we're having pathfinding issues here with our larger vehicles. But they are finding their way out. And it looks like we're going to be fine. Good job, Mr. Radar. You were a big help, although I probably should have waited and had deployed you even closer. Maybe not. And here Mission we go. They're coming down even though artillery bringing up the rear has not quite gotten there yet. I hate the snow. Reminds me of winter spent scavenging out in the Manchester ruins. At least there are no rats here. Once again, the Donnies have the advantage of knowing the terrain and weather. But there's a desperation to their tactics now. They have their backs against the wall. We were taking some Dawny prisoners out of the base wreckage and one of them jumped on me and scratched at my armor with his bare fingers. My sergeant pulled him off while I just stood there, staring at this crazy man, sobbing his eyes out in the snow. All I could make out was that I'd robbed him of his birthright. I was somehow taking away his chance to speak to God. Maybe I'll go see if Peterson has used up his alcohol allocation for the week yet. Well, you might need that alcohol allocation to deal with your conscience after having some eh, somewhat unnecessary losses, I would say, during the final part of that base assault. Some of your men paid a price for being a little bit careless. Nonetheless, success. It's probably would have been a good one to take that uh, nuke from the bombers to level the base. But again, yeah, how, how are you going to know what's clear unless we had really expanded out and totally cleared everything out? And lots of attack aerodynes. Probably going to get some good numbers out of our anti-air. Let's take a look. So, nothing again. Dead Meats, Blood Veteran, four kills for those Jaegers. We've got uh, Military Police with three. Humble Himbos now have Golden Combat Star, also Blood Veteran. 18 kills and three buildings destroyed for our Annihilator Pterodynes. Four kills, five destroyed. Lots of Blood Veterans now. Headhunters are still experienced. They've got some work to do. They lost a couple more units, too. Field Excellence Destroyer and Combat Star for our Hungry Lions, who are now elite. 24 buildings and 10 kills. The artillery, very powerful indeed. And 13 kills and a Combat Star for Army Strong. 
Blood Veteran Anti-Air. The Red Raptors, two kills. And Brutal Deluxe, inexperienced. But, you know, Veteran for Aerodynes isn't bad, because they tend to not do a whole lot. Ripper Jacks. Didn't do really much of anything. Okay. And then the Roaming Berserkers with seven kills. Iron Chargers in their first mission, 17 kills, but lost five of their own. And they're up to experience, a lot of work to do. And uh, the Storm and Garments, of course, extinct before. Survivors and Red Tigers did not participate. So, the jamming field is history. And what's the next step in wiping out the last vestiges of the Order? We'll find that out soon. Tell them thanks for watching, everybody. More ground control coming up.